Well, I just got in the mail the other day the lead loader set for the 6.5 speed. Now, these are the most economical way to get into reloading. And first I'll say they do come with a basic loading instruction sheet. You know, a charge sheet, but also instructions. Now, I don't necessarily follow instructions. I do things a little differently, but there's a good reason behind what I do differently. And I will show you. Okay, first it's this thing. Take the primer out. You know. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, to resize the case, you use this tube. And all it does is resize the very neck. Which is great, because your brass will last a long time. Now, here's a thing I'm doing differently. I'm coming out of my resizing tube going into this base part. In the directions, they'll have you put a primer in, drive the cartridge out right onto the primer. I don't do it that way, I do it in a separate step. It just works better, uh, just safer. Uh, I know a lot of people who have had, you know, done it that way and had primers go off. I have done a lot of these, and I've never had a primer go off. Now, another thing that they do differently than I do, they have you charging it in the tube. I don't do that. It just makes a mess in the tube, especially if you've got lubricated bullets. So now, primed, charged, all you need to do is put a bullet in. That's, this thing goes on like that. Bullet goes in. This rig goes on top and drives the bullet down. To a predetermined depth. Okay, now the bullet is down there, and it really doesn't matter on the Swede, but on a tube magazine gun, you need to crimp them, and that's where you flip this thing upside down. Tap a few times, and it drives that brass into this knurled portion of the bullet. If you got the right bullet, uh, you know, and the right brass, and you know, the funny part, they actually discontinued this sweet, and <laughs> my temptation is to buy a bunch of them because I think they're going to be incredibly valuable. Because this is a heck of a round. That's how it's done. It's not slow, and they certainly aren't inaccurate. It is the most practical way to get into reloading. You know, every time I hear somebody talk about, you know, they ask somebody, you know, what do they need to get into reloading, and immediately there's hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. You don't need hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. These things are $39 from Lee, but you could usually buy them online for eh, between $25 and $30 usually. And it's everything you need, but your consumables and a hammer. I'm very fond of them.